As you will hear, this incident began with a December 4, 2017 threat to a high school in Harlem. A 15-year-old student was arrested by the, by the NYPD Intelligence Division on that bomb threat. In, te in uh, January, a teacher in that school abruptly resigned and school authorities in reviewing his laptop noticed some material that was questionable and they contacted our detectives. Based on a follow-up investigation by the Joint Terrorist Task Force, uh, that was what led to the, those arrests today. In the course of that search, um, which was conducted beginning this morning and went on through much of the day, over 30 pounds of chemicals which taken um, together in certain combinations constitute uh, explosive precursor materials were recovered. Uh, Christian and Tyler Toro were taken to the 49th Precinct uh, where they were taken into custody by the FBI. There was a diary appearing to belong to um, uh, Toro's brother that um, had notations in it about something called Operation Flash, statements contained in the diary about discarding uh, and doing away with physical evidence, and um, other documents that had statements such as the small ones, uh, let me start with the quote, under the full moon, the small ones will know terror. We don't know at this point in the investigation, um, other than the criminal charges related to the explosives, uh, the full breadth of what these materials mean. So as Assistant Director Sweeney said, uh, we're going to continue that investigation. This is a moment to remind all New Yorkers, to remind everyone, that the idea that if you see something, you say something, is more pertinent than ever. We get daily reminders of the threats arrayed against us. But what we're seeing here in this case already is some good people stepped forward with information, and that information was crucial to law enforcement.